Hello YouTube, um, just in the bathroom and I've got one of these little submersible pumps, this is a, I believe, come on, it's only my phone so it's not going to focus very well, come on, I haven't got any other fingers or hands, hey, well anyway, don't worry, it's a uh, uh, 4.8 watt DC brushless pump, 12 volt, um, it is a submersible pump, so we're going to put it in there. Cost about three pound. <laughs> I've got a couple of them just to be sure. I've got it connected in the Wago connectors and in some uh, five point five by two point one jacks. We're just going to switch it on. Now this will be quite nice for a water feature, and it doesn't actually show its true potential here until we lift it up a bit further. Is actually going well above the bar. Anyway, what I think we're doing was using some holes that are around, <coughs> sorry, in the bathroom, and try and uh, fabricate a um, uh, like a, a toilet refill um, system just to help the the, um, the system we got from the mains water because it's just so slow and it can take quite a while to refill after flushing. Uh, it leaves you quite a shallow flush because uh, being a rented place it's not the best maintained and uh, if we wind up the nozzle any further to let more water in it uh, constantly does that for about half an hour and it's quite annoying. So uh, we can utilize this to help us use rainwater uh, to flush the loo. Uh, giving us a saving on our water bill, although I don't know what the water company will say about that. Um, and we don't want to drill any holes either, so what we're going to do, and uh, this is going to be a trial before we go <coughs> in depth, is what we're going to do is we're going to use this fixing hole just here, which hasn't been used. See, that one's been used. And I've got some thin flexible tubing, I'm going to poke it down the back, and uh, underneath here, underneath the bath, through a hole that's already there and uh, see if it will pump water up to this level first and then we can worry about um, uh, so switching it micro switch uh, like fill indicator uh, to make sure it doesn't overflow if it does overflow it will just go down the tube anyway so and obviously a 12 volt remote power source to, to power it so uh, I'm gonna um, Stick some bits together, stick some tube through the holes, put the bath lid back on, attach the pump, and uh, we will see if it's worth it or not. I mean, I could always get a bigger pump, but I don't want to spend that much money. And there is other issues regarding this, uh, but I'll come to that later on. Um, yeah, so it's just time for some like preliminary testing. Just going to fill up this bucket of water and pump it up, and hopefully we can make the loo overflow, well not overflow, but we'll fill it up enough so I can see inside whether it feels assisting or not. Three, two, one. We have a leak. Seems to be working.
Well, I think that proves it works. So we're ready for the first full test of this mm, proof concept idea. So I'm going to flush the loop. Wait. 